This has been a great meeting, um, ICML 2017. Um, lots of new data to, to see. Um, I reported the results of the UK and Swiss um, Remodel B study, which was a study of 1,132 patients um, asking the question whether we could improve progression-free survival through the addition of bortezomib to um, RCHOP-based chemotherapy. Um, what we also did, though, is we performed real-time uh, gene expression profiling to determine the cell of origin of the individual patient, so we can use this as a stratification factor in the randomization. And, and we found that there was no difference in progression-free survival, taking the whole group together between those patients treated with RCHOP and those patients treated with RCHOP with, um, with bortezomib. And there was no difference in um, progression-free survival or overall survival also within each molecular phenotype. What we did identify is a, a group of patients who um, had a, a Burkitt-like phenotype, which were enriched for um, tumours with aberrations of the MYC oncogene, particularly double hits, and these patients fared particularly poorly, and there was a, a, board, a question of whether they, in a borderline way, benefited from the addition of bortezomib, although this was not significant. So a really big study, and it was really exciting to present the data of that. There was lots of other um, additional um, data presented with, of, of very great um, interest. There was a very large um, uh, retrospective study of transformation of follicular lymphoma presented by uh, 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 Massimo Federico, which was really fan fantastic, a great collection of many thousands of patients. I chaired a session on primary mediastinal large B-cell lymphoma, and four really important abstracts were presented at this event. First was a uh, molecular tool for identification and distinction of uh, primary mediastinal lymphoma from other types of large B-cell lymphoma, um, and, and I think this is really um, important. Uh, we also uh, listened to an abstract about um, the heterogeneity of tumours as defined by PET and how they may also, that may also um, be a prognostic marker for, um, for outcome. There was also a great abstract looking at retrospectively the use of dose-adjusted EPOC in adults and uh, children with primary mediastinal lymphoma showing some um, really significant um, results. And, and finally in that session was a, um, a presentation by Pierre Luigi Zinzani looking at the use of the checkpoint inhibitor uh, pembrolizumab which targets PD-1 in the tumours, and he used this in patients with relapsed and refractory uh, primary mediastinal lymphoma with some significant um, responses seen. Um, so I think a really important session and lots of new data for us to, to, to think about.